Okay, we are back in the work study special meeting. Item three, public hearing for the adoption of the 2024-25 budget. Item 3.1. So moved. Uh, oh, call to order. I'm calling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling the hearing to order. Second. <laughs> Item 3.2. Uh, public comments regarding the adoption of the 2024-25 budget, we have and we have none. Item 3.3, adjournment. Is there a motion to adjourn the public hearing? So moved. Is there a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Item 4, the public hearing for the truth in taxation property tax increase for the adjacent ways. Uh, item 4.1, calling this to order. Item 4.2, public comments regarding the truth in taxation property tax increase. And we have none. Item 4.3, adjournment of the public hearing. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Is there a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Item 5, we are now resuming the work study special meeting. Item 5.1, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Item 5.2, roll call. All members of the board are present. Members of the cabinet, uh, Dr. Jensen, Mrs. Rodriguez, and of course, Mr. Dolezal are all present. Item 5.3, formal adoption of the agenda. Is there a motion? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any modifications? Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Items, uh, where are we? 6.1. 6.1, call to the public. Do we have any call to the public? Okay. Item 7.1, policy exhibit BAA-E, evaluation of school board self-evaluation presented by governing board Janet Busby. All right. <laughs> All right. This is our opportunity for our checks and balances on ourselves. So, um, I would, instead of going through this item by item, we've all had an opportunity to review our self-evaluation tool. So, you know, I would comments where we need to, where you see we've done well, where we need to improve so that we can sort of govern ourselves and adjust accordingly. So the floor is open. Well, I'll, Okay, I'll start by just saying that uh, I think uh, we've been working very well together. We are working very well with the superintendent. Uh, the relationships here are good and they are really well focused. A uh, new member has come on and is filling in amazingly well, so I appreciate that. So I think it's just a, I think right now uh, I don't really have any issues negatively at all which is really pleasing uh so uh, i think we're doing a very good job and uh, again thank you for your leadership yeah, thank you anybody else i'd just like to say you know looking back on the past year i think it was a, a very positive year from the new superintendent to the board to our new board member some of the goals that we set and standards that we set for the board i think that we've all done a great job of communicating working well together honoring those commitments mm -hmm passing that along hopefully you know that the staff and teachers and everybody sees that in the community as well and um, looking forward to this next season this next year moving forward with some of the things that we've been outlining meeting beyond just these on the dais board meetings so um, Janet yes thank you for your leadership and thanks to all of you on the board for being such a pleasure to work with I, I agree. Um, I feel like the five of us have worked very well, um, especially bringing Dan in very new. Um, so, and then I feel like our communication relationship with the superintendent, um, I think all of us 
have really increased that communication that we have back and forth um, with him one-on-one. -on -one. And then I'm going to highlight one of these points on here, I think, um, that we just disregard personalities and consider the recommendations of the superintendent in an unbiased and objective manner. I feel like that is something we kind of all shine at right now. So appreciate all of us kind of working together for the same goal. Um, as the newest member, um, I appreciate everybody's assistance in catching me up to speed quickly. Uh, appreciate uh, Superintendent Dolezal's transparency. So I, I think all in all, things are moving in the right direction. I echo everything everybody has said. And I thank you to all of, well, not you, Dan, because you weren't here. But <laughs> when we, you guys were very willing to come together for our, our retreat and create our norms and commitments. And I think it was a great opportunity not only to work together, but to really understand a little bit more about each board member. And, you know, through that, I think we actively made the decision and we're de are dedicated to to actively collaborating and you know we're five individual people and we have you know five different ideas on how to accomplish a goal but we've all committed to being coming to the table very open-minded to work together to find the best best pathway to move us forward and it really has been a pleasure working with all of you because it's we work well together and it's 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 fun it's I don't want to say it's easy but you accomplish more when you enjoy what you're doing and I think that's evident with what with all of us you too Dan <laughs> appreciate that hey you know in the couple what month and a half you've been on the board you've done well um, Anything else anybody wants to add? I mean, we can go through this, you know, section by section if you guys want to, but, um, you know. No, I would just echo that I think a highlight really was when the four of us sat down and did um, go through our norms and commitments. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I retreat. I think that was big stepping stone yeah. for it, all of us. You know, mm -hmm. I, I say this a lot. If you want a different outcome, we've got to do something different. And when I asked to do this, I didn't know what was going to come out of it. And it's been, it's been a huge, I don't want to say surprise, because I respect everybody here. But the outcomes far surpassed anything I could have imagined on the front end of it. So yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, we did something different. and. Here we are. So we got to keep doing things different. And anyway, anything else about our evaluation that anybody wants to add? Okay, then. You want to add anything to our evaluation, Mr. Dolezal? Okay, then. No, thank you, Madam President. All right, Mr. Superintendent. <laughs> Item 7.2, Secure Storage res Resolution, Be Smart, presented by Vice President Brianna Walker. All right, I'm actually bringing this back. Um, the four of us had seen something similar probably a year and a half ago and had voted it to have it brought forth onto an agenda item. And then with our superintendent um, leaving, we kind of just died and so wanted to bring it back, especially um, as safety being at the forefront um, of everyone's minds and with our schools. So let's go to the next slide. Okay, um, oh, being part of a safe school um, definitely is a shared responsibility between our schools and community. Um, just some of the recent things that we have adopted at the district level, um, the anonymoustips.com program, Speak Up for Safety Partnership. Um, we've done a lot even with our camera upgrades recently, how it can tie in to the Scottsdale PD. We've had them speak to us within the last year. So this is just another, again, um, thing to bring forward as a resolution that we can do to be a safe school. Um, and what the Be Smart stands for is secure all guns in homes and vehicles, 
uh, model responsible behavior around guns, ask about insecure guns in other homes, recognize the role of guns in suicide, and just tell your peers to be smart. So kind of having that open communication between the community and schools um, is the reason for this. Unfortunately, in the short, well, almost four years I've been on the board, I mean, we have had um, a suicide, and we also have had different gun threats. Um, and thankfully, like I said, we have put in a lot of safety procedures. This is kind of another added step. Um, here, these are just uh, ideas of different information that can go out to parents, um, kind of brochures. The one on the left shows you different sample conversation starters of just how to talk about gun safety with teens and your children. Um, so, and then also you have about talking, so with your neighbors, and then also just talking to your children on how to be smart. Other marketing pieces that can kind of go out to the community just gives information on how to securely store guns um, from small lockers to just different cable locks. So it has that information and then also goes through um, what secure firearm storage is basically making sure your fire firearm and ammunition are still stored in different areas and that things are locked up. Um, and just wanted to point out this. Um, fact of one third of youth suicides and unintentional deaths are prevented by securing guns. So just a huge amount of added safety just by securely um, keeping your firearms. And so here's the resolution. Um, I work on a Mac, so I don't think everything came over quite lined up here. But um, this is a resolution that has been adopted by other school districts as well. And um, this is what we brought, what came forth a year and a half ago at another board meeting that we all had reviewed. Um, I won't go through all of it, but this is kind of what I'm proposing that we adopt to be a safe school um, for our community. And any questions of the board? Anybody have any questions? Um, one question I have is, well, yeah. maybe a couple. What is the, what's the ask? I mean, I see the resolution about putting some, obviously superintendent sending email communication. What's the, what's the goal? What's the outcome? And then what's the accountability? I think the goal is, let me see, just go back to this resolution. I mean, the big part here is, like you said, an email or information out to the community at the beginning of each school year, just about um, the ask of storing guns um, responsibly and just to, as another layer of the safety that we're already doing I think we get a lot of concern for parents anytime there's I mean even any threat at the school um, it's definitely we get asked of what are you doing next or what other protocols do you have so just showing it out to our parents and community that we take it um, security safely, or we do take it seriously, and these are kind of just another layer. Like I said, we have the anonymous tips, the speak up, um, and just another resolution about safety for our students on campus. What's the accountability in the home? That's going to come, I mean, at the home. Okay. No, at the I'm home just, level. No, no, I'm just saying because my concern is yeah. anytime you, you're moving into the home, my concern is that we're, are we having overreach? So, Oh, I mean, we can't control anything in the home. This is more of, hey, as a school district, this is just another added layer okay. of information that we are giving to our families and that we do take it seriously. Got it. Okay, so just for clarification, mm -hmm. so I understand, this resolution is <clears throat> we're asking the district to or we're being asked to approve this resolution, which in effect then we're asking parents or telling parents this is how they need to handle firearms in their home? Not asking them to do anything, more of, hey, here's the information to securely, I mean, to s safely secure your firearms and the facts that go with that. Um, like I said, once it gets to the home, it's really up to the parents. But as far as 
as a district giving passing along that information is that can that be viewed as overreach on our part because typically you know the district has always said parents are the first educators mm -hmm. but we've always stopped at the threshold of the home you know we haven't ventured beyond that threshold into the home to to you know ask parents to do specific things you know in a formal way and so you, I'm kind of is is are we going I, I I totally understand the point of this completely 100% there should be gun safety but to venture into such a formality where we're making this kind of a resolution because it's not just this resolution this becomes part of materials that the school then provides to parents like it goes in the handbook correct well it can and I guess that was part of this as far getting everyone's input on what information they'd like to see because really the only piece that the resolution asks is that the superintendent you can see right there from the, at the bottom create an appropriate letter to parents and guardians that explain the importance of secure gun storage and protect minors from accessing irresponsibly store guns um, and that may be included in annual registration materials so that's really the only ask on our end as far as what information we give out how that letter is written is part of this discussion I don't think that it's overreach because we're not saying uh, we need you to do this uh, we are not saying your child will not be enrolled in our school if you don't do this they're saying this is an issue and you know I'm well aware that you know there are very strong feelings about guns and uh, all that and I have no you know I don't care one way or another if somebody owns a gun or anything but yeah, we have had an impulse suicide here in our, you know, in our school district that probably could have been prevented. So I think just telling people these are the issues, you know, what we're saying as a school district, we want your kids to be safe. We want them to be safe here, and here's what we're doing for that. We want them to be safe at home, too. Here's something that you can do at home. And I think that if, you know, safety is a big deal here at our school, uh, I think it just kind of goes along with saying, hey, we're not telling you what to do, but we sure are recommending, you know, having this information at everybody's, you know, right there at everybody's uh, reach when we, when we start, when you come to our school so that you are aware of this. Uh, yeah, I see more as right this yeah, more as an awareness, just as you would get from your health teacher of showing, oh, and your family should be eating this many carbs and this many fruits and vegetables. We can't force our students to be like, did you eat three vegetables today and two pieces of fruit? <laughs> <laughs> it's recommended um, based on statistics and facts that this is what's recommended. Um, so it's more of just bringing in awareness um, just as another added level of safety to other things that we're already doing on our campuses. Yeah, I, I worry a little bit about the perception of overreach, and I, I, understand, I understand that we're not requiring anybody to do anything, therefore it's not technically overreach, but I think there potentially would be a perception of overreach of, again, us going, trying to go into the home, not, like not drawing the boundary, and you brought up a good point, like with nutrition. <laughs> where do we draw the line then? Do we add a resolution of what everybody should eat? Should we add a resolution about how people should run their social media with their kids? I mean, uh, believe me, I'd like to do all of these things personally, but I just worry from a board perspective of the perception of overreach. And then again, like where do we, where do we cut it off with each different area within the home that we're going to provide these resolutions on? That's my concern. No, so when, sorry. Uh, when when uh, when we got this uh, presentation, I did uh, do a little bit of investigation uh, 
because you know you want to see what where it is, what ha what has happened, and we do have you know we're not you know setting any precedent here. We've got about two dozen school districts across the United States, including <coughs> including Phoenix Union, has this has this in in their in their policies. So, um, you know, I know the whole overreach thing. I think that it can be. It's it's a fine line. We're not telling people what to do. We are telling them we want your kids safe. Here's how you can make them more safe. If you know, the the kids that are bringing guns to school, they can they get them mostly from their home. Uh, the kids that are hurting themselves are do, getting it from their home. Um, I want every kid to be here every single day, and it kills me that you know even that one is not here. Um, so, if safety is a big deal, and I think it is, I mean these are some serious numbers here. Uh, you just have to at least say, hey, you know, in our district. You know, with that whole Wild West theme and all that that we have up here in Cave Creek and all that, yes, there probably are a bunch of guns. We're not telling you, certainly not coming for them, but we definitely would like you to just make sure that your kids are safe. Make sure that when other kids come over, they're safe. You know, I don't think that's overreach. I think that's just, you know, hey, have some common sense. We've got a lot of guns up here probably, I'm guessing. So let's keep our kids safe. Here's some tips. I think we give tips on a lot of other things, so why not this too, just to keep our kids safe? A resolution well, well, is a little more than just Yeah, that's, uh, so this is my, I guess my question is kind of the newbie. Um, the school sends out a lot of, from the district sends out a lot of communications. So if it's a communication, I, I guess my question, we're making a resolution. I love the presentation, and, and I'm all for safety and taking care of the kids. 100% agree with it. It's the why are we going to this extent when it should just be, hey, can you send out some information, or does it make sense as a district just to send out some information? Do I need a resolution on it, or can I just ask you, does that make sense, and here's some information, and does that make sense? I don't know. I, I just feel like this is um, – well, I think if we – It's we, very official. If I, we I guess do, for, I think we can say – Hey, can you, you know, boy, it would be great to send out some tips to parents about safe gun storage. But if we don't have something, you know, here, it can get lost with everything else. This is important. This is our kids' safety. Um, if it was something else, I might not, you know, I might be maybe a little bit worried about some of those stuff. But, you know, I don't know. I mean, I, I've been teaching for 20 years. I've lost too many students. To, uh, I've just lost too many students, and I I hate losing every single one. So, it's uh, I think it's important that we can, you know, if we just say, hey, I think you should send out tips about this. Yeah, maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Maybe that when you know we're not here or Mr. Dolezal's not here, then it just goes away. But if it's here and it's a resolution and we have it in place then we can send out these tips every year. It's, we're not, again, we're not telling people what to do. You know, we're not forcing anybody to do anything. We're saying if you do these things, your kid's going to be a lot safer. So, uh, I don't know. I don't want to just keep saying the same thing. No, no, I got again, you. But I've, no, I've I, lost too yeah. many kids, and I don't want to lose another one. one. One Losing one kid is one too many and multiple kids. I can't even fathom that. Well, and Pres President Busby, if you don't mind me, just interjecting point of clarification because I've heard it mentioned a few times. A resolution is something that you all vote on, approve, and that it does... Um, and it does dictate to administration what what you want to result from that, um, but it is not. It, it doesn't become policy. That is not policy. That it, it's a resolution. Um, so I just wanted to make that because it's that word's been interchanged, and just want to make sure that this does not. Um, it does not go into our policy anything like that. It is a resolution. 
the last resolution I can think of we passed was a legendary teacher day resolution where you pick a day, you know, and, and that we name that. So it's similar to that in terms of you doing that. Um, but then this, a resolution dictates then administration will follow through and do something. This something happens to be, um, you know, what is listed in this letter. I think it just helps when we have, instead of having to send out a letter saying these are the things that we're doing when an incident happens, um, it almost feels a little bit more reactive of reminding people we have anonymous tips, we have speak up for safety that, hey, here's information from the district. This is something we take seriously. Um, so it's just kind of an added proactiveness gotcha. instead of being reactive when situations happen on campus. And unfortunately, they do. We've had a lot of situations in the time I've been on the board. Um, so. Okay. Our first responsibility is to ensure we have safe campuses, first and foremost. That's it. Um, I, I'm struggling a little bit to really differentiate. I, well, let me back up. Whatever information is sent home, by whatever means, we have no idea how it's, if it's read, if it's deleted, if it makes the circular file, we have no idea. Um, and whether it's a resolution or just an informational piece of information, we have no idea how it's perceived and, or if it's read. So I sit here and I struggle to kind of wrap my head around why, what would the, what difference is it going to make whether we have an email that goes out just reminding parents, hey, you know, it's safe, gun safe week or whatever. You know, here's some ideas or pointers on what you can do with firearms in your home as opposed to going through such a formality to have a resolution. It, it, because you're both, since we there is no control on once it reaches the home, it's, it may not even be read. It may be ignored. It may, who knows what happens. Yeah, I think it's more of a, hey, what are you guys doing? Well, we have adopted this resolution that we have this, imp all we can do is give information. Well, but when it comes to something so serious, that's, I think, but why we, the need we of the We have no control with what goes on at home. For sure. And so to to make a resolution saying, hey, this is kind of what we're, we're hoping you do. I'm, I'm struggling with that because it's sort of, I, one million percent, I'm all for keeping kids safe in any possible way. But as a member of this board, you know, our responsibility is to the kids in our schools and what happens at home, it, we don't have any control over it. And so I, I'm, I'm, I sort of struggle with this. I understand the purpose, but are we kind of going outside our lane here? I, I, well, follow-up um, question I really have real quick, mm -hmm. Superintendent Dozel. Can you um, restate the difference between policy and resolution? Uh, member Moore, you asked me to restate the difference between a policy and a resolution. So a board policy um, is such that currently we're under ASBA, and that is a policy that then governs how either adults or children behave in, in school. Um, so that to me is the, and then a, sorry, a resolution again is voted on by the board, but it does not become part of board policy. Um, that to me is the biggest difference is a resolution is just you're resolving that that you're asking us to do X, but that does not become part of board policy, whereas board policy. Um, and in this case, I would say that that policy, again, like as I stated, governs how both adults and children are in school and, and do their jobs, yep. whereas a resolution in this case, um, you know, 
you're direct, you would be directing us how to do, or to do another piece of our job that is in school, but then it's, in this case, this one would be going to the home and other resolutions like a legendary teacher day resolution. It was just, you know, you directed us to name that day and, and celebrate that day as legendary teacher day. Well, you made one state and, statement. I just wanted clarity on it. On the previous statement, you made yep. a statement that up to discretion. So do you, if, if let's just say if we pass, if this went by, you have to carry it to the letter or you have the ability on a resolution to carry it how you see fit? No, if you pass this resolution, whatever it says, you are directing the superintendent. So myself and the team would be doing. That's what I wanted clarity on. You've said something at the end of those two that. Oh, I apologize. Out, so. No, it, okay. whatever the resolution says, if it's there for superintendent will do X, then uh, that okay. is okay. what. That is what I'm responsible for doing, and I would imagine that you would hold me accountable for doing what you've asked me to do. Just um, clarity. I have a question. This Be Smart program, what, what are the expectations from the program? Uh, here's a resolution, but are there other expectations that go along with this? Uh, to be, uh, I assume making the resolution then means we're part of the program. No, this can this actually differs from every district that's adopted it. They have, like I said, those kind of I'll just call them marketing materials or brochures that you can send out as a starting point. But I mean, some districts have it that parents receive a letter and have to sign it and send it back, um, knowing that it was received. So this, I mean, it's kind of up to us how we want it to be read and what parts and pieces you want done. That was kind of the reason for this presentation part. <laughs> so, But they have all the facts and they've got templates that you can utilize, but. Okay. So here's my take on a couple of these things. Um, we can't control what happens when it gets into the house. That's for sure. I mean, you, you think about all the things that we get in the mail, uh, especially this time of year, you know, you get three things from all these people that are running for office and most of them go in there too. Um, but what I think, and you know, I'm, I'm not gonna be, well, I, you know, maybe I will be on some of the receiving end of this, but what if you get like 500 emails saying, where are you telling, where are you getting off telling me what to do with my guns, blah, 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 blah. But you get one that says, I got this, and I thought about it, and I did. I put that gun away, so now this, you know, my kid is not at danger of getting it. I don't know, I think I would withstand the 500 complaints to know that we at least got some people thinking about it and maybe did something just to make sure the gun is stored safe. We, you know, we, we've, our job is to protect them once they're here well, if they don't get here, we can't protect them. So. <sighs> but that brings me back to my previous question about we send information home in various forms. Oh, yeah. However it goes home, whether it's a resolution or tips of the day, we don't know what happens. So this information about safe gun storage goes home, it's not a resolution, or it goes home because it's part of a resolution. We don't know what's gonna be read, what is gonna be dismissed. But I go back to what's, what's the difference on the receiving end? You know, the, it's gonna show up in a parent's email box, inbox, and so what, what's the difference? It's the information that we want parents to glean from it. What's the difference between what? Having a resolution or just sending well, an email I, home one day that says, hey, you know, here's correct. something we came across. Here's some tips that you might want to consider. What's the difference? Well, the difference would be that we'd be making sure that we do it. It's like everything else. If you don't have something in place saying you need to do this, whether it's done or not is happenstance. Maybe it'll happen one year, maybe it won't happen the next year. Maybe it'll happen this time, but not this. If we say, let's do this as part of our registration materials, we know that it's going home at the beginning of every school year. They get a bunch of stuff. 
at the beginning of every school year. Uh, they get a lot of stuff, but yeah. it's not all resolutions, but it's information that goes home. Right. So that's, that's where I'm like, okay. Well, this resolution I don't think necessarily goes home. That's for, the only thing that goes home is the letter. Yeah. Giving so information about secure storage. I guess the difference in my mind is that if you have a resolution that says the board is saying we want administration to do this, then we know that every year when the kids come here to register, there will be one piece of, one more added piece of information that they get that says, hey, if you have a gun, store it safely. You know, that's the same thing of, hey, here, you know, here's, here's some, you know, here's some really good ways that you can be organized. Here's a really nice planner you can get. Um, so, but we know on a consistent basis that it'll be done every single year. If we don't have this, Mr. Dolezal might say, okay, yeah, I'll do it. The next superintendent might say, oh, I'm not doing that. Or they say, oh, we didn't do it this year, but it's not a big deal. At least this way we know. And, you know, we don't control it when it goes home. Well, yeah, but we don't control anything when it goes home. But it would be really nice for somebody to go through that and go, oh, yeah, safe gun storage. You know, that is kind of important. You know, maybe they do, maybe they don't. But if we don't send it home, then they don't see it. Have we ever sent anything like this home before? Have we ever communicated as a district to parents about gun safety and secure storage at home? Or or suicide? The we did so have to board send members to yes when I mean again I was principal at Sonoran Trails when we had a student who successfully completed suicide. So that yeah. that type of thing did go home at that point in time. Um, in terms of gun safety uh, to my knowledge and recollection over the 25 years, I, I do not think anything went home. The only thing that may have gone home is I know that we have been a place where gun safety classes have been held in our schools. Uh, you know, they rented the facility and things like that. So that would have went, but that did not get sent home by us. We happened to be the place where they held it. That group sent out information or, or it went out that way, but it wasn't necessarily um, from the school district. Yeah, it's usually just when we did have that suicide, information goes out to the community. Um, again, when we had the Desert Willow incident this year, it goes out to the whole community saying, hey, letter from the district, that this is a shared responsibility between our schools and community. Here's the current things we're doing as a safety, just as an added, hey, we also have this resolution. Um, that's what I mean, being more proactive of where we stand versus we have, unfortunately, some super horrible events and then having to be reactive to the community on those stances and then member more members of the board we also i mean on the back of student ids is, is the teen lifeline so there again it doesn't necessarily go home but you know the information on on a hotline to call if there's suicidal ideations or a friend or what have you is also there along with the other anonymous tips and things like that so it does seem better in my mind to send this home every year just saying, hey, you should do this. I mean, not you should do this, but here's some ideas about doing this. And it's a lot better than sending home the thing about, well, we lost another kid. Please consider this, you know, oh, and send your thanks and prayers and all that stuff. But at least here we're saying in advance, hey, just think about this. You don't have to do it if you don't want. Um, I mean, would people leave our district because they get this? Uh, you know, they leave the district for all sorts of different reasons. But I think, you know, I think if we if we hold, you know, child safety so strongly, uh, then I think we should at least have something where we're saying this is something uh, that we believe uh, you know, we can we can you know say yep, it's not you know Phoenix Union has done this as well, and let's just keep our kids safe so that they can make it here so that we can do all these other safe things a question on the final there well actually both of the therefore is the first one says it directs the superintendent to create an appropriate letter 
and then at the final part of the sentence says, and may be included in annual registration materials. So is that language a little conflicting? This is really set up as us figuring out how to, this should read, whether it goes home in annual registration materials, whether it's just a welcome back school year and information about it. I mean, that's kind of... Okay. And then the second one, it says the Cave Creek Unified School District Governing Board and the superintendent will continue to work with local law enforcement agencies, health agencies, and I think nonprofits to collaborate and increase efforts. What, what does that commit us to? I think a lot of these things were already doing. We do a lot with the local law enforcement agencies. Again, um, even health, we do a lot with Maricopa County Health. Um, so I think that's kind of how detailed we want this to be because it is just a resolution. It's really up, up to us as a board. Um, okay. Yeah. Any other questions, comments? Okay. All right. Item 8, action consent. Is there a motion? So moved. Is there a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Item 9.1, adjacent ways property tax increase for 2024-25 presented by Mrs. Rodriguez. Yes, thank you, Madam President. Members of the board, um, this information was shared with um, the board at the last meeting. Um, this approving adjacent ways has no impact to the tax rate that our property tax owners are going to be paying this next year and it will do some long overdue um, repairs to our ingress with the um, fire lanes and the um, bus lanes so i move that the governing board approve by roll call the adjacent ways property tax increase for the 2425 as presented so moved Second. Okay, any questions? Okay, we're gonna do a roll call vote. I'll start at the end down there. Mr. Moore. Approved, yay. Okay. Aye. 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 Okay, that one passes. 9.2, approval of district budget for 2024-25 presented by Mrs. Rodriguez. Thank you, Madam President and members of the board. Again, this uh, was a presentation that was shared with the board last um, board meeting. We have published it according to the requirements of Arizona revised statute. I've received no questions whatsoever about the um, proposed budget. And the budget that um, we are asking you to approve this evening is the exact same budget as you had reviewed at the last meeting. So I move that the governing board adopt the district um, proposed budget for the 24-25 school year as presented. So moved. Second. Any questions, comments? Okay. Would you like a roll call vote? That's not required for okay. this, thank you. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, that one passes. Item 10.1, approval of the Secure Storage Notification Resolution Be Smart, Be Smart Program, presented by me. Okay, is there a motion? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Okay, any other questions or comments? Okay. Um, let's do a roll call vote. Well, maybe see, hold on one second, I do have a question. Okay. So are we trying to approve this right now, even yes. though it's undefined? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. There's, we have no, I guess we're approving the concept of having the resolution. We're not approving a stated resolution. Is that what you're? Uh, President Busby, no. I mean, at, at this point in time, the motion on the floor is to approve the resolution as it's presented. So this would also be an opportunity um, if there were any edits or suggestions in terms of what perhaps the, the, the therefores are that you're requiring or asking um, the superintendent should it be approved to do. Um, 
I think this would be the time to go ahead and and do that um, because yes, this is this is more than just approving the, the concept of it. This would be the motion on the floor is to approve the resolution as presented. And we can also table this if we need more information or input. Input, yeah. I mean, it's up to us. Mm. So. Well, we have a motion on the floor right now, so. So, with the motion on the floor to approve it as presented, uh, we'll vote on that one right now. So, we'll do roll call vote, so we'll start down there. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, <laughs> as presented, nay. Aye. I vote aye. Nay. Nay. Okay. All right, item 10.2, appro uh, approval of an award of performance base pay for the superintendent pers pursuant to ARS section 15-341A, 39, presented by me. All right, um, we, I need a motion. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Okay, um, we did our evaluation. Um, it, it, an executive session and according to um, the superintendent's contract that we approved um, we can award 5% of his base pay as um, performance base pay so that is the motion to do I need to give a dollar amount an $8,000 bonus. So, um, is there any discussion? Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Um, Madam President and members of the board, um, first and foremost, uh, let me thank you for approving the performance pay, which I believe actually acknowledges the work of the entire CCUSD staff for the 23-24 school year. Without them, this would not be possible. Hopefully you get from me, I wholeheartedly believe it is essential that we all embody our district, district theme of together. In that light, and given our inability to provide raises for our staff for the next school year, I stand alongside our CCUSD employees and respectfully decline accepting additional compensation. Thank you again for your support and honoring the work that we have all accomplished this year, and I look forward to the good work that we will accomplish in the year to come. Okay, well. Thank you for your commitment to our staff. So, um, item 11.1. Adjournment. So moved. Mm -hmm. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay, we are adjourned. 648.